Hello, everybody, and welcome to Scrotorious Gaming. Thank you for joining me today. I am Scrot, or sometimes otherwise known as Scrotorious Maximus the Third, Scrotonymous Bay, eh, anything you really want to use. Uh, this is a brand new channel, this is a brand new LP, and I really wanted to kick things off by playing From the Depths. I've been getting an absolute kick out of this game lately. It is a blast. And so I thought we could play it together. Um, I've spent about 20 to 25 hours just messing with the game, mainly in the, ve the vehicle designer. Um, I honestly have not done that much of the campaign mode. And uh, so you can see here, like, what we're actually watching is kind of like Battle Royale, what you can do in the vehicle designer. You can spawn ships, watch them fight. Um, you build, design everything yourself. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, right now, there is a campaign mode and creative mode, which, again, I think the vehicle designer is kind of the, the creative mode. You have unlimited resources, and you can build to your heart's content. It's like one huge open playground. And, of course, therein lies the problem. I don't know how to play in that playground correctly. Uh, I'm like a little kid with all sorts of toys in front of him, and I'm like, which one do I want to use? I have no idea. So I thought, let's kick this off. And let's start a new campaign and see how things go. Now, I may play this really oddly uh i don't know i don't plan to build like these amazing immaculate ships that look super sexy uh mine are going to be more like big flying ship based trash cans with lethality out the wazoo we'll see how that pans out um now i'm going to start a new game here in the campaign and uh i did a little bit of work beforehand by creating a sort of my own version of a fortress it has no weapons on it but it has everything else i need uh, i've also created a small missile frigate it looks terrible it works pretty terrible but if i can hit stuff with it it'll be pretty great and i've also made a small resource ship that we'll be using uh, if we can take over the first or whatever first uh, resource zone we take over i'll be sending sending that ship out to so we'll see how that goes um so to be honest i'm going to keep the enemy growth factor right here at a one since i've really the, as i'll just say this i've taken the campaign about as far as 20 minutes in just to see what in the world i was doing so i didn't look like a complete noob when we try to rock this out. Uh, so yeah, we'll be keeping that at one. And, you know, if I find it's too easy, maybe I'll go back at some point, start a new one, and crank this bad boy up. Let's see, it gets pretty high. Oh yeah, up to two. I'm not quite sure what this entails, though. You know, when you're increasing this, what's this really doing? I'm not sure. Uh, max blocks spawned at once. Well, let's crank this up a little bit. I have a decent machine. It's not bad. I've got an i7. I've got uh, a GTX 780. I've got everything overclocked. Uh, I got 16 gigs of RAM, so I think I think we can try for 35 thou. And let's see, resources given when destroying enemy blocks. Uh, we're gonna go with 0 0.1 or 10 percent of every block you blow up. So that sounds good to me. So let's let's kick this off. Let's do it. I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited. We're gonna see how how we fare. So here we are. We're on the starting fortress. Uh, let me give you a little look here. Here's our avatar. Uh, I'm gonna call him Grundle. Hmm. Look at those red eyes. What's up, Grundle? Okay. So, let's get a little look here. This is the fortress. It's got a real basic gun on there. You also start with uh, a small starter rib. Just a very basic ship. It's got some sort of electric engine in it. I don't care too much for it. I mean, I'm sure it's great for its purposes of being tiny and succulent. But, uh, no, we're going to get rid of it. Holy shit, it's coming over here. What is happening? Um, that's okay. So, I'm not going to explain too much what's on this fortress right now. Uh, we'll, we'll do that a little bit more once I spawn my own fortress in. Uh, needless to say... What the fuck? I just sank through that cube. Okay, back up. <laughs> just taking a little dip here, don't mind me. No problem. So, interact to respawn vehicles and scrap fortresses and structures. That's the first thing we're going to do. That little starting rib, which you can see here in the background, we're going to scrap it. Boom! Goodbye, starting rib. And we're going to destroy the object completely so that my repair tentacles do not try to repair it. Uh, next thing's next. I need to build a little something so I can scrap this fortress. So I'm going to press B here, enter build mode. And then I'm going to press E to sort of open up my inventory. My inventory of sub panels here. And each one is just full of goodness. For instance, blocks. If something is green, it means there are further sub-objects underneath. So click on wood block, and now we have just a myriad of different wood blocks. One meter long, wood, sl wood down slope, wood up slope. you got wood beams, four meters. And something to take note of, over here on the right, you can see everything has health, armor, and weight. 
and that is definitely something to consider when you're building your ships or your planes or your hot air balloons or your huge flying teapots or whatever. Um, you know, you want to you make sure you're aware of this stuff because, for instance, you know, if you build with all lead blocks, well, you're going to be at the bottom of the ocean all the time, I think. Uh, unless you can somehow offset that. So we're just going to build a starter fortress. Just a, a really basic, like, right here. <clears throat> a little L-shaped whatever. And, um... It's, I'm, I'm going to get rid of it here in a, in a little bit. That's the whole point. And on this, we are going to put another vehicle scrapper. So if you'll notice as well, down at the bottom middle of the screen, there are five resources. Those red resource panels down there. Uh, I think it is natural resources from left to right. Natural resources, metal, something like that. Uh, oil, scrap, and then crystal, I believe. Could be wrong, but that, that feels right, I think. Um, okay, so we've got a scrapper built. Let's also pop on some repair tentacles. So we'll need these repair tentacles for... Uh, oh yeah, they take crystal. I don't have enough. Um, we're going to need them when we want to spawn our own fortress in. They help you build. So, without further ado, let's scrap this fortress. And when you scrap it, you know, we're, we're going to get all the resources back. No. Get up there. No. Back up. And... Beautiful. Okay. Here we go. Starting fortress. Alright, let's let's rock it. Here it goes. It's blowing up. Alright, and destroy it. If you don't destroy it, and let's say you start building something else, uh, and that thing has repair tentacles, it's going to start repairing your fortress you just tried to scrap, which not necessarily a bad thing, but I don't want two fortresses right now. Alright, so now we need a vehicle blueprint spawner. This... This vehicle blueprint spawner allows you to spawn in vehicles you've made in the vehicle designer, or during creative mode. Provided you've saved them, of course. Don't make the mistake I've made many a time. <clears throat> made something sweet, and then I got it all wrecked and forgot to save it, and it's like, oh, man. Uh, okay, so let's let's start the spawning process. Hmm. I don't know. You know what? Hang on. One moment. I don't want this many repair tentacles. We're just going to go with these two right now. Just in case I need uh, the crystal for my fortress. I'm not quite sure if I do. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Sky Fortress starting. And so when you select something to spawn in, you can set a distance. I'm going to make sure it's spawned kind of far out because fortress is pretty big. And I don't know how long it's going to take to spawn. God, if it takes 600 seconds, um, then I'll cut the video while it's, while it's loading in. And here's all the resources it'll take. So my starting fortress... At 55,000 RP, it's not that bad. So here we go. So now you, you notice here in the tooltip in the middle, it says press Q to release. Oh, there goes my guy, taking a dip. See ya, buddy. Old Grundle. <laughs> Old Grundle. And here it comes, starting fortress. Loading in. And you can see over here some of the uh, resources. You know what, while this is loading in, let's take a look at the map real quick. And so I can explain a little bit of this to you. For those of you who may not know what this is. So here we are on the map. Anything with an RZ is a resource zone. And these icons represent the resources available, and the size of the icon represents how many of that resource is available. Um, obviously that keeps it a little vague, but if you mouse over here at the top right of the screen, you can actually see the exact amount of resources and their growth rates. Fantastic. So, here we are. Uh, we've got our fortress spawning, and we've got this other goofy one that's spawning it. So if we zoom out, let's take a look at the whole map here. It's pretty big. It's pretty fantastic. Oh, man. I'm going to be honest. This is delectable. This is like a smorgasbord of stuff to wreck. Look at all these factions. We've got the... I don't know their names. Uh, Deepwater Guard. Who do we have over here? Can I... What are these factions? The White Flayers. The Onks Watch. The Steel Striders. That's a pretty cool name. Lightning Hoods. That sounds kind of interesting. Scarlet Dawn, they sound badass, I'm going to be honest. And the Twin Guards, did I forget one? Oh, the Grey Talons. Oh me, oh my. So here's the map, and if we take a look at some of these enemies, for instance, we are over here, and directly to our east. I I'm just assuming this is a north, like, that's north, that's east, uh, that's west, maybe. So east of us, we've got an enemy here. Force count 1, strength 15. Uh, it's right on the resource zone, so I'm imagining this is probably an enemy fortress that we are going to just take down the street and wreck up and down. Maybe, 
Maybe. Won't hold my breath. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Hmm. It's been a while. I forgot that this happens. I don't know when that started doing that or if it's always done that. It takes you off guard, though, the first time. And it's been a few days since I played, so this was definitely taking me off guard. Um, so my fortress is spawning in really slow. So what I'll do is I will cut out here and just wait for this to spawn, I think. In fact, before we do that, let me let me add some more uh, some more repair tentacles. How much are these? These are 15 crystal each. Now, why can't I build another repair tentacle? It needs uh, <laughs> 420 RP. That's fantastic. Let's see. 30, 30, 60. 30, 30, 60. 15 crystal. Huh. Weird. Why can't I pop another repair tentacle down? This is really strange. Maybe you can't add something on a structure. I don't know actually what I was about to say there. Whatever it was, I was going to make it up on the fly, so we won't we won't go with that. Um, very strange. Why can't I add another repair tentacle? This is so weird. I've had this problem before, and I actually had to uh, save my game and reload it. In fact, okay, I'll just try this real quick. Save game. Let's do this. Let's play Season 1. Great. My other one was a test I played just for a little bit. Uh, return to main menu. If this doesn't work, then yeah, we'll cut out here. Because I don't want you guys to just sit here and watch me spawn in uh, a fortress. That's no fun. I guess I could have kept the default fortress, but... That's also no fun. I, I want to be unique. I want to have my own sweet stuff. Okay. I'm just... I'm fail sauce. Maybe the resources are reserved or something until this is done. All right, well, nevertheless, we will cut out right now, and we will return when the fortress is built. So, see you guys in just a bit. All right, guys, we are back. I think, I think we have our fortress spawned. Uh, that took a little bit. I ended up having to add this uh, scrap smelter on here. I, apparently, I was very low on scrap metal, and it was taking a while. And I also had an odd bug um, as well. I had to reload the game. This... Uh, Control... What are these called? Hang on. I have to... Every time. This vehicle controller... I... Uh, was there. Like It was placed in my constructible template. But once this was done building the fortress, the vehicle controller never showed up. I had to save, close, and then reopen. And this... This automatically showed up. Which is great. It's just what I wanted. But now it's like, why is some of this stuff grayed out? I just don't know. Um, okay, so... That's alright. What we want to do now is we want to scrap that thing over there. So I'm going to pop another scrapper on here. The old scrapper. And I would like a blueprint spawner because I want to spawn in uh, my first ship, my missile frigate. So we have a little bit of defense because, like I said, this fortress... Well, she's a nude fortress. I guess she's a she. Um, she's a he's a she. No, no weapons whatsoever, and that's okay. That's how we roll. It's like, you know, whenever I go out and just walk down the street, I'm like, I don't need any clothes. This is how I roll. Okay. Oh, negative. Okay, here we go. Camera gets a little... It's a little quick sometimes. All right. I want to scrap this fortress. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, hang on a tick. Okay, let me get over here. I want to make sure this... I want to make sure my fortress isn't still being held. It is not. Okay. Okay. Somehow I was able to gauge that quickly by the tooltip that popped up. So, let's let's get rid of this guy. Boom. Destroy it. Give me all those resources. And, on top of that... Actually, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a whole bunch of scrap. If I want to say that my missile frigate needs like 6,000 scrap. And, as, as you may or may not know, scrap is the uh, second from the right uh, icon on the bottom middle there. So... Let's just add a whole bunch of these. Just get a whole bunch of scrap going. Let's come over here. And let's get... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, one moment. I want to sit in my chair. Tab out a bit. Here we are. And let's let's bring this up in the air some. Here we go. Oh, yeah. She's raising up. 
Look at all that ectoplasm shooting out of the Sky Fortress engines. This is how they made Slimer, you know, uh, for Ghostbusters. They just put a little collection bin underneath a bunch of these, get all that ectoplasm, and then lo and behold, you've got yourself a Slimer. Okay, good. We're set there. So, let's click on this. Let's spawn in uh, my small missile boats. It is 30,000 RP. Oh, it's only 2,900 scrap. Okay. Well, snap. Here we go. Let's do it. Do it up. And, uh, okay, now I have way too much scrap being converted, so one second. Let me just remove a few of these smelter tops. Smelting away. Uh, that should be fine. I just want, like, a slow trickle of scrap right now. Because I don't want to totally melt my metal resources either. Oh, oh, my gosh. I need repair tentacles. Okay. It's always something. Repair tentacles, like I said, will actually make this spawn in. <laughs> They're like big old crazy straws. Just look at them jiggling around. I would drink drinks out of one of these if I could. No, they could be dual purpose. Dual purpose repair tentacles slash crazy straws for doing any and all the suckling you could ever desire. I mean, you know, it's really up to you where the limit is. Okay, so here we go. Spawning in the Missile Frigate. So I put some basic AI on this thing. Uh, I think I put... Let's take a look here. Let's open up the build menu. And let's go to AI. And I want to say that I put uh, some naval AI on there. Along with a patrol card. Hmm. Something else. I'm, I'm going to have to play around with some of these. I'm not that great with AI. I also had a slight problem. I was trying to allow the AI that's based on... The, so the AI controller is on my boat, and I wanted to hook up a weapons controller to work my turret, but I just couldn't quite get that to work. I don't know what I was doing wrong. You'll see here. It's a 360 torqueless turret, and uh, the missile should start building on top of it here soon. There's, there's all the, the AI junk. It's this right here. Got the AI, oh, that's a connector. Got the AI mainframe, now there's a wood block on top. Great. Nevertheless, I was unable to get the AI to, like, control my missiles. I don't know what I was doing wrong. I'll just have to play around. Or somebody could totally just tell me, like, you're doing this wrong. Oh, I see. So maybe it is that I cannot build if the repair tentacles are tentacling. Is that a word? Are they tentacling? Hmm. So you can see the missiles slowly forming up here. What am I missing? Okay, so, oh god, I need more scrap. Here we go. I just took off a bunch of scrap, and now I need to put it back on. Smelter tops, I mean. Alright, we'll just pop pop on over here. Get a few more of these. Oh, now she's building. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Great. And I love the customization in this game. Oh my gosh. So, even these missiles, for instance, like, you can extend these out. I mean, honestly, as far as you want it, I guess. And let me take a look here. If I hit Q while I'm looking at my missiles, all of my missiles are using the same setup right now. Uh, hang on. They, they haven't all spawned in. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm so excited. I just want to go blow something up. And I want to... Okay, here we go. Here we go. He's almost done. Yeah, I wanted to try and uh, take over like a resource zone uh, in this first episode. Make it, you know, totally worthwhile. So let's take a look. I've got these missiles are comprised of a short-range thruster, so not that fast. Also doesn't consume as much fuel. I've added three fuel tanks, uh, so they can fly really far. Uh, the distance is, I want to say they can go close to like a thousand. Uh, it's got only one set of fins, so they can't turn very fast. But that's okay, because I plan on uh, totally boning people's faces before they know I'm coming. Unless they have lasers, and then it's game over for me. Fragmentation warhead, explosive warhead, and the infrared seeker. This is the bread and butter. It's what makes it all work. Anything within a... Uh, let's look. IR seekers automatically acquire targets in a 60-degree forwards-facing FOV. They prefer, they prefer large and hot targets, like when your grandma puts that tasty-ass cherry pie, you know, on the, on the windowsill. Yeah, this missile would go right after that cherry pie. It'd be hot and fresh. People would regret it, but it would happen in real time. Okay, I think it's ready. Let's release it. Go! 
Okay, now let's let's go sit in this thing and let's just go wreck somebody right off the bat. We're gonna go. There I am. I'm chilling. So let's here. Let me do a test shot. Oh no. Oh god, it's tipping. Here's here's the problem. I build like a chump. So. Uh. Yeah, it's. Here we go. Go missiles. Yes. And then you can hit caps lock. Hopefully this isn't too loud for you guys. I'm gonna try to reduce the sound when the missiles are flying. Uh, if I can. We're just cruising for a bruising. So it's, or we're cruising to bruise someone else. Something. And now we're out of fuel. We have some huge negative amount of fuel now, which is totally sweet. Okay, so uh, I'm sitting in the seat. Let's open up the map. I've got AI enabled on this ship. And let's just let's just head over here. Okay, yeah, I think we're... So this game, uh, <clears throat> they added some Nick Smart, the developer, who is totally freaking awesome, by the way. If you ever head over to the From the Depths forums, uh, he is the most active dev I've ever seen, and he updates this game so frequently. This is how early access should be done. You know, this is like where it's at. If, if every early access game had this kind of dedication, early access would be a, a much better frontier to uh, place yourself upon and uh, explore, you know? But, you know, hey, people like me, I'll just explore it anyways. I don't care. I, I like taking a little pain. Uh, so I'm going to pull all. What this does is it takes all the game objects out of the game. It takes all the, the physical materials out. Uh, so you can do things like speed up time. And what is my guy doing? He, he's, like, going in reverse. Okay. I wanted to speed this part up so we could get over here and try and take this guy down. So it'll all be manual. I'll be doing all the shooting myself. Please don't hit the rocks. Oh, yeah, look at him. Just just going around. This is great. And so, so far, nobody else is coming over here. Once enemies start moving around the map, you'll see their lines being drawn, just like my line here. My directional line uh, for where I'm heading. Enemies will get those, too. So we'll see what happens when I cross this threshold here, this this new grid, this new coordinate. We'll see if the enemy is uh, is aware of what I'm doing. Yep, oh, here we go. Force count three, strength, strength three. So I got three ships. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my guy down here and anchor him. And I'm just going to let them come to me. And uh, I'm going to show them what missiles taste like. I've never tasted a missile before. I'm so proud to say. I'm happy to say. I'm actually sad to say it as well. Because everybody in their life should get a chance to taste a missile. Um, maybe this is a good game, a good way to do it. See, how's he doing this? He's going right over this, like... Unless he's a flyer. Okay, here we go. Action time. So I click this button to reload my ship, which now I can, like, retreat. This force will die, and all your battling fleets will be moved back to the nearest... Interesting. Well, I don't want him to die. Let's warp into the captain's chair. Captain's log, supplemental. These are the voyages of the small missile frigate boat. Here we go. Okay, so you can press C to activate uh, your AI control for all your ships. I'm going to turn the AI off. I don't want to move any grooving. What I want is just to go ahead and start shooting some missiles, send some volleys uh, their way. Let's get front row seats and see who we who we can just totally mess up here. Oh man. Oh yes. Yeah. Boosh. Holy shit. Yes, the missiles are hitting the other ones. Get this other guy. Get him. Get him. Oh my god, decimated. Wait a minute, we have a survivor. We have a survivor. And he is going to get a taste of justice. La -la -la -da, da -la -la -da. Yep, I got a weird view here underwater. Uh, but he's dead. Okay. So, hell yes, taken care of. Let us continue onwards and see what we can see over here. I want to see if this is a fortress or what this could be. Come on, baby. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is it. Teleport! I guess I could press tab and... Oh, I've jacked up. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. One more time. Up. Oh. Okay, I can press tab. That's no problem. And let's just go ahead and aim over there and start sending some volleys and missiles and see what we're dealing with. Oh, he's got something big over here. What is this? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got to be a uh, fortress? 
Yep, that's a fortress. It is like a big octopus. Ho ho! I know what I'm eating tonight. Octopus. Uh, do I have any more missiles? I do. We are fully loaded. Here we go. Let's see if I can follow the missiles here. Get some front row seats for this. Here they come. Oh, yes. God, I love that. That is just majestic. Let's go look inside here. Engine. Mm-hmm. This is the first octopus I've ever seen that has an engine. I'm going to be honest. Here we go. Another volley. Let's go follow him. You have to, like... The camera gets a little wonky. You have to double tap this in key. And pull, oh, look at this guy. He's like, fuck life. I'm out of here. Well, we still got some more shooting to do. By golly. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep hammering them. In fact, is my ship moving? Did I turn AI off? Let's do it. Here we go. Let's get him moving a bit. I have my missiles, I believe, firing on a like 0.3 second delay. Uh, staggered, if you will, so they won't all shoot at once. I think that works great when you have multi-targets. Oh, ho, 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 yeah! Gone. Utterly wrecked. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The very first Deepwater Guard location has been destroyed. And here we are, chilling on our little missile frigate. The sun is setting or coming up. I can't tell. It's raining. What a beautiful day. So hey, ladies and gentlemen, let's we're going to call it a day here. This will be a, the very first episode. I wanted to keep it right around 30 minutes. And um, yeah, we'll see how things go for the next one. We'll we'll continue right where we left off. Uh, and I think my my next objective will be to create a resource boat over here at the main campus at main campus, at our main home base for now, our main fortress, and we'll send that over here to start gathering resources. And I don't know, we'll see what we can build or what we can do next, where we can go, what we want to jack up. You can already see, by the way, Deepwater Guard did not like us blowing up their octopus. The old octopussy. They are sending a pretty good sized force. Five, strength 20 coming at us. So yeah, we'll stop there. Uh, hey, thank you everybody for stopping by. It's been a blast. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe. I know I'll love it if you do. And um, hey, I'll see you next time. Take it easy.